Hello, my name is Keith Effort with NIDEC. Today, I'm going to provide a brief demonstration on the NIDEC GYC500 single delivery and GYC500 VIXC scan pattern delivery system of our green photocoagulator. So now I'm going to turn on the system by turning on the power to the table, power to our clip mat with our illumination, and then also the power to the control panel of the GYC500 photocoagulator. So NIDEC manufactures the SL1800, which you see here. This is a Zeiss type slip mount. You can see here we have our joystick up and down, our illumination, our slip, and we can also adjust colored filters and magnification. We have our micro manipulator here, binoculars, and then our 530 feet nanometer filter between the binoculars. And we have our delivery system. We have two types of delivery system, the single, delivery and the scan pattern delivery system. Also on our delivery system, we can adjust the spot size from 50 microns all the way to 500 microns. Each one of our delivery systems incorporates our solid optical design. This ensures low impact of density energy on the cornea and the lens. So now I'm gonna go over the functions of the control panel. Up here in the top left, we have our standby and ready. Ready is when we want to emit, emit the laser. We also have our counter of shots. As you can see here, we have three. If we have multiple shots or even three, we can clear it by pressing on the numerical panel. And all I have question, do you want to reset the counter? Yes, it will now go to zero so you're ready for your next patient. We also have our spot size. We have our power in milliwatts, from 50 milliwatts up to 1500 milliwatts. We have our emission time in seconds. This will vary depending on mode and pattern. We have our interval time in seconds. This will also vary in mode and pattern. And then we have our aiming beam, and we have up to 15 intensity. Over here on the scan, we have Scan and auto manipulation. Now in the scan and auto manipulation mode, a short time laser emission is possible with the selected scan pattern. And in this mode, the functions are limited. The selectable value for the emission time is limited to a range between 10 milliseconds and 50 milliseconds. The interval time setting is enabled only for the single scan pattern and scan mode. For other scan patterns, the interval time setting is enabled when the auto forward function is active, which I will go over later in this demonstration. So as you can see, we have our single scan, single. We can have interval time adjustment here. However, if I select one of my patterns from my three favorites, which is circle, square, and single, if I select square, interval goes away. So again, interval time is only enabled in the scan pattern mode. However, in the auto manipulation mode, as you can see, scan is dark. Now we have our auto manipulation mode and we have single. So the laser emission time is possible with the selected scan pattern for the desired emission time and interval time. So in auto manipulation mode, single, I have interval time. If I select a pattern from my 22 pre-selected pattern, I also have interval time in auto manipulation. These three favorites, as I said before, can be adjusted in the advanced settings to preset your most favorite scan pattern. In the information screen here, if I select the information screen, I can select a scan memory of my favorite settings for each disease that I treat. To put in memory, we're going to go into our menu tab and select menu. And then we're going to modify our memory. But before we do that, let's go in here and change some settings. We can change our spot size to 150 micron. 
we can change our emission to our emission um, and milliwatts 100 and emission up to point um, maybe 10 milliseconds. And we can increase or decrease our interval time as well. As you can see, these parameters, when I go into menu and I modify them, I can go into the scan memory settings and select memory 1 through 5. If those are filled, then you go into memory 6 through 10. So I'm going to select number 2. And I'm going to write those parameters and save to memory 2 as yes. Now my parameters are set. At this point, I could set my name of these type of parameters to a certain procedure. And we can name that any type of procedure that you want and click enter and exit. So now when I go into my information display, we have not a contest. These are going to be certain different uh, scan protocols and, and parameters for each type of disease state that you are treating. We also have our scan in BIO or LIO. As you can see here, we have the exact same parameter, aiming beam, milliwatts in power, time in second, and also integral in second for single spot with BIO. So now I'm going to go over activating the auto forward function. When a scan pattern applicable to the auto forward function is selected with a scan delivery unit connected, continual pressing of the foot switch automatically advances the scan pattern in the selected direction. Now we must set the spot size between 100 and 300 microns. We'll keep it at 100 for now. At this point, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the proper pattern. There's only a certain number of patterns, which are six patterns that we can select by pressing the pattern display. These are our six patterns that we can select. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and check my equal space pattern. As you can see down here on the bottom, the auto forward is now displayed. It is black instead of grayed out. Now, the spot size itself must be less than one. Otherwise, it will not activate. As you can see here, my SP is at one. If I increase it to one and a quarter, my auto forward now is grayed out. So we're going to bring it back to our equal space of one spot size. So at this point, I'm going to select the auto forward function. Now I'm going to select my path. So we can select either from two down to the left and up, three down to the left and up, two down, three down, two down to the right and up, and three down to the right and up. I'm going to go ahead and select my three down to the right and up. Now that I have my path that is selected, I'm going to go ahead and press the standby to ready. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and press the foot switch to emit the treatment beam. I will also have in real time on the left of the screen what it looks like with the optics. So we're going to go ahead and press one, two, three, one, two, three, and we're finished. Now it goes back to the initial state. At this point, you can move the laser to a different area and treat with the auto forward again. Now we will select ready to put the laser on standby. 